My dear friends in Christ, welcome to our reflection for the 17th Sunday. Hungry old woman prayed loudly for food. Her atheist neighbor heard it and put some bread and fish outside her door. She thanked God aloud. Her neighbor derisively shouted, It was me and not your God who put food there. She replied, Thank you, Jesus. You never fail me, even if you have to use a devil to work a miracle. The hero of today's tale is a Hall of Fame, a Jewish child, a little boy. Only Norman Rockwell could do him justice. The boy is the rarest of individuals, the person who gives away his precious lunch. Our attention, of course, is drawn to the Christ distributing all those fresh rolls and seafood. Mahatma Gandhi of India reminds us, there are people in the world so hungry that God cannot appear to them except in the form of bread. Like the crowds we have gathered here to hear the message of Jesus, like those crowds we have gathered here to be fed from his hands. Like on that hillside, Jesus takes our loaf, gives thanks to the Father, gives it to all of us who are sitting around ready to be fed by him. Like on that hillside, we know that, we know that this food with which he feeds us is precious and that it is the food for the whole world. Like those people who acclaimed him as the prophet who is to come into the world, we acclaim him as our priest, our prophet and as our king. Not a king whose kingdom belongs to this world, but as the king who presents the kingdom of truth and life to our Father in heaven. Leo Tolstoy reminds us, my piece of bread only belongs to me when I know that everyone else has a share and that no one starves while I eat. No one starves while eat. Only then that bread belongs to me. From my experience, my own personal experience, Mother Teresa relates a story showing how the poor are more generous than the rich because they have experienced hunger and poverty themselves. Learning of a poor Hindu family in Calcutta who had been starving for many days, Mother Teresa visited them and brought a big parcel of rice to the mother. She was surprised. Surprised, see how the mother immediately divided the rice into two equal portions and went out with one bundle to give it to her Muslim. Muslim neighbor. When she returned, Mother Teresa asked her why she had done such a generous deed. The woman replied, my family can manage with half the rice in this bag. My neighbor's family has several children and they're also starving. Today's gospel tells the story of a small boy who showed the same kind of generosity by sharing 
a small lunch which consisted of five slices of barley bread and two pickled fish he became the instrument of a miracle in jesus hands he understood sharing is caring but it also reduces the burden and double the happiness reduces the burden doubles the happiness jackson brown tells us while while earning your daily bread be sure you share a slice with those less fortunate less fortunate the first reading tells us of the prophet elisha during a time of famine elisha was offered 20 loaves of barley and fresh ears of grain elisha said give it to the people let them eat but this is servant objected how can i set this before a hundred people but elisha repeated give it to the people let them eat and they ate and they had some left this little known story of elisha is full of insights about how god works god works in our lives elisha puts his own need aside and prefers to think of his people elisha relies not on what he has but on what god can do with what he has and his gift is multiplied if we hold on to the little we have hold on to the little that we have it satisfies neither as nor others it is not given to us to perform miracles like elisha and jesus but perhaps that is as it should be in a world where there is so much of need we have a great deal great deal to give it may not seem like much to us like the five loaves but when it is shared it becomes more than we can ever imagine pope francis tells us it would be good to ask ourselves every day what do i bring to jesus today he can do a lot with one of our prayers with a gesture of charity for others this is how god loves to act he does great things starting from those small things in our hands monsignor arthur ton has a funny story on today's gospel lesson a village farmer stopped at a restaurant in the nearby town and sat near a group of young fellows who were acting up shouting at the cook and heckling the waitress when his meal was set before him the old farmer bowed his head to offer a prayer of thanks to god one of the smart uh, alex you know thought he would have some fun with the old farmer so he shouted in a loud voice that could be heard by everyone hey pop does everyone do this where you come from calmly the old man turned towards the lad with an innocent smile and replied in an equally loud voice no son a pigs don't pray before they eat a pigs don't pray today's gospel tell us that before feeding the 5000 jesus took the loaves of bread gave thanks to god his father and then distributed broke the bread gave thanks food is more than sustenance it's a blessing from god that nourishes our bodies and brings us 
together. Let us not forget that. The traditional sign in the scriptures that God loves and cares for us is that he provides food for his people, usually bread, the staple food in much of the world. Can we believe this when so many go hungry? Let us first ask ourselves whether food is lacking or the distribution or sharing are bad. The bread of the Bible stands not only for food for the body, but also for God's word, God's love, concern and presence in this world. The most profound of these signs of God's care is the Eucharist in which Jesus keeps giving himself as our food and drink for the road of life. Let us give thanks to the Father with Jesus this, for this great gift, for this great gift. Barbara Carlo, Carl Rose tells us, there is something profoundly satisfying about sharing a meal. Eating together, breaking bread together is one of the oldest and most fundamentally unifying of human experiences. You give them something to eat. We are reminded over and over again. The gospel story teaches that Jesus meets the most basic human need, hunger, with generosity and compassion. Today's readings also tell us that God really cares about his people and that there is enough and more than enough for everybody. It's enough and more than enough for everybody. Who are we in the eyes of God? What can God do with us? After all, we are no more than little people in a vast world. Today's liturgy shows that God can do very much through us. And with the little we have to give, when we give to him our time, our life, our talents, our little we can do, he turns them into blessings for many. He can do great things with us, but we have to put them at his disposal. The gospel shows us that Jesus could do what Jesus could do to multiply the needs of a large crowd with the meager. Jesus could do to satisfy the needs of a large crowd with the meager gifts of a little boy. We ask the Lord to make us generous with the little we have. Just as Moses fed the people in the desert by giving them the miraculous manna, our Lord, the new Moses, recreates that ancient desert wonder and feeds the crowds in the wilderness. Like Elisha in the first reading, Jesus does not have enough, but he organizes the meal anyway. He presides, as he does at every Eucharistic celebration, when we break bread together and he multiplies for us. Does our participation in the Eucharistic banquet really promote togetherness with fellow Christians? where two-thirds of our fellow humans are hungry. We should never go home without thinking of them. We break bread with our Lord, but should also do it with our brothers and sisters and to experience the joys, joy of life in your presence. Let us pray. God, our Father, you give your children everywhere, all the good gifts for a fully, fully human life. Let your son give us the bread of his word that nourishes our faith, of his peace that brings us rest, of his consolation that gives us hope and joy. 
and the nourishing bread that sustains us on the way to you and to people. Make us share this bread with all as a token of the feast to meal, feast to meal which you have prepared for us in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless.